name is Vivienne Marini, and I'm here today to talk about my top country economy. But I would like to ask you something. Have any one of you been in Colombia? Uh, when you think about Colombia, what things come to your mind? Don't worry, I know. Drugs. <laughs> something else? Soccer. All right, that's fine. That's why I'm here today. I want to show you the other sides of my country. Colombia, which has been known by drugs and safety and murder the country, which has a great places to go, uh, wonderful weather, and um, and you can find a very warm place to go. So, I have left the only race is why you to stay, because we are, we are going to support it at you, and we are going to see what it is. So, we first, we're going to see as a problem why Colombia has been seen as a dangerous and unsafe country to visit. As a solution, we're going to see what has been changed in Colombia to be considered now as a potential place to visit. And as a benefit, we're going to, we're going to see what will be your perception about Colombia from now on. So first, let's move into the problem. Now we're going to see why most people, and most of the people, have seen Colombia like that. So actually, the most um, major problem has been the media. And fortunately, media has shown the worst things about Colombia. And I want to show you some examples. According to the World Bank reports, the international perception of Colombian social problem concentrates on violence and co connected violence with the last standard drug cartel and rebel movements. Another example is explained the article by Los Angeles country and the Earth. Colombia is a truly lonely state and the world capital for kidnappings. There were 2,338 in 1988. And finally, I mean another example, um, according to Colombia, you is still in danger by BBC News, Colombia remains one of the most dangerous places in the world for trade unions. I'm speaking from my sense. So as you can see, most of the things about Colombia. But actually, this is not a real country. According to the article, Introducing Colombia by Drug Reselling Magazine, in darker days, people used to say, if only it weren't for violence and drugs, Colombia would be paradise. Well, the drugs must seems to be feared, but the violence would stop and leave from now. And it is in this part. It is an easy country to fall in love with, and many charming too. It could well become your favorite country in Colombia. So now, as a part of the solution, we are going to show how the safety in Colombia has improved in the last 10 years. According to the Colombia Embassy in New York, the terrorist acts has dropped 84% from 2002. The homicides have dropped 45% from 2002 and, uh, to 2009, and this is the lower rate in 22 years. And kidnappings have dropped 88% from 2002, also the lower rate in 22 years. And by the way, in the same um, report, Colombia has the lower rate in crime than many major cities in the U.S. Now, we are going to talk about variety of resources of my country. I don't know if you guys have this, have know about this before, but I want to show you some important things that have my country. Colombia is the fifth producer of emerald in the world. Also, is the first producer of flowers in the world with more than 3,500 orchids. It's the third country in biodiversity in the world after Brazil and Indonesia. And the second producer of coffee in the world after Brazil. And the second producer of oil and the night of oil in South America. Also, Colombia, due to its location, has a great weather with tropical temperatures to the year. Uh, now I'm going to show you the Colombia essence. Colombia essence is basically in three main cities, which are Medellin, Bogotá, and Cali, and the small cities in the coffee zone, where we grow um, um, the coffee, and all these together is called industrial heartland of the country. 
One more point I want to show you tonight is that about Colombia is a unique place in the diversity of tourist destinations. According to that, I'm going to see, I'm going to show you that definitely Colombia has modern cities with skyscrapers and modern restaurants and bars, beautiful beaches, jungle walks, colonial cities, and uh, archaeological ruins. So as you can see, this is the real Colombia. Now that I've, I have talked about the problem, the solution of Colombia, I'm going to just explain to you what benefits that you have after know the real Colombia. So for you to know another fascinating destination in the world, with lovely people and a lot of attractions that you might fall in love. Now, also to change the world image about Colombia. According to Brendan Raymond from London, the difference between Colombia's perception is that the country is beautiful and very diverse. The people are warm, generous, and fun-loving, and I have always felt very safe here. And the last benefit is you will save money. If you decide to go to Colombia, you definitely will save money. Colombia is not an expensive country compared with many places in Europe and even in the US. According to the article, the 31 places to go, 2010 by New York Times, are fairly unknown. Colombia is still known for its cocaine, car food, and street life, but could have to travel. I'm calling it Latin America next for the hot spot. So as you can see, definitely Colombia is not only drugs and violence. Let's recap. We saw a problem. It has to do with the media. I showed the, the worst things about Colombia. For the solution, we saw Colombia's sector has changed in the last 10 years. Colombia is a rich country with variety of natural resources. And it's unique to the, it has unique tourist destinations to do. Now, before I go, I want to review all what I show you in my weekly with a video, long, two minutes, but it will show you guys the, informa the information that I just gave you.
Yes, I'm sorry. Colombia, Colombia, Colombia. Colombia. Killed at risk. He's wanting to stay. Thank you guys for saying